everyone, it's Steve Wiss here and this is the latest episode in my Hamburg Football Manager 2020 career save. Uh, we're in the year 2026 on Football Manager and we're challenging for the Bundesliga title and uh, this is the state of affairs. Um, we are with two games left with three points clear at the top of the table. We've got to face Borussia Mönchengladbach at home and then Leipzig away. The previous results uh, certainly went our way, as we're going to check back here. We beat Mainz 3-0 uh, away from home. I'll come back to that match in a minute. Dortmund won 5-0, but Leipzig and Schalke were both held to draws away from home, which is a great outcome for us. Um, we're now six points clear of Schalke, and even two defeats might get us into third place at the very worst, which would be a Champions League uh, qualifying berth. And... Um, Obviously, with with three points clear with two to go, we could win the league in this next match if Leipzig and Dortmund both drop points. But um, it's it's very uh, debatable whether that will happen because uh, if we look at the fixtures, uh, Wolfsburg against Dortmund and then Stuttgart travel to Leipzig. I, I would be surprised if certainly Stuttgart got anything. So... We need both Leipzig and Dortmund to drop points. The last game of the season is that humdinger. Uh, we're away at Leipzig. So at the minute we have a goal difference of 32 and theirs, theirs is 30. So look, the minimum objective is to beat Borussia Mönchengladbach. But it would be great if we could have that uh, uh, two goal difference above them or four goal difference above them if both of us were to win because then we could go next week to Leipzig and potentially lose by one goal and still win the title on goals scored so goal difference is, is going to matter as well if we're in a good position in the match that is uh, but let's go back to this uh, fixture that we beat uh, Mainz 3-0 all the goals came in the first half um, inside the first 25 minutes in fact Vieira got two Bella Kochav again he's been in great form for me goal scoring wise the centre back he, he gets into some great positions at uh, corners um, a jumping reach of 18 heading ability 30 good strength gets him into that position from um, from corners and he's very dangerous Vieira with a couple Mainz actually had a good second half they should have scored but we were generally in control of this uh, match so on to the uh, penultimate fixture it's against Borussia Mönchengladbach we don't have any suspensions we still have Julian Chabot injured now Benedict Gimbus come in and a good job um, replacing him in the last couple of matches and I'm, I will have a big decision to make going into that last fixture against Leipzig if uh, Chabot is fit um, but we'll come to that one uh, when we get to that last game of the season we've got four guys on yellow cards I'm not so worried about Balic because he can be replaceable these three guys at the back uh, Gimba potentially if he gets suspended yeah then we would put uh, Shabo back in, but certainly the left back Friedel and Bella Kochab is so important that you know it's, it's at a stage where almost if the game's won today, I'm going to have to take them off if they're not already got a yellow card. I'll be desperate for Friedel and Kochab not to get yellows, but I'm not changing my style because we've got to win the game. So we're going to stick with this 4 3 1 2 formation against Borussia Mönchengladbach. Let's see how the match goes against uh, Gladbach. So this is the easier of the two games I've got left, so I'm expecting, to, I'm hope, hopeful we can win. Even if we don't win the game, a draw would still leave our destiny in our own hands. A draw, two draws um, would potentially, well, a draw still leaves our destiny in our own hands. That's what the most important thing. Looks like four-two-three, one formation for them. Uh, Nascimento is. Uh, their key player 7.34 average rating so uh, we'll have to have a look about him into the dressing room we go and it's going to be an assertive team talk I want to pick up where you left off last time that was a good win three of them are motivated let's get into this game and hope we can get the victory that we need we'll be keeping our eye on the other scores as well but first things first, we've got to do our business. And um, 
as I say, we, we're in good form at the moment. I do worry for us against the the class of Leipzig in the last game. I mean, that does concern me, for sure. So, of the two teams out there today, I would love them to drop points rather than Dortmund, I think. But, um, we'll see what, what happens. A, a win here would mean as our defenders nearly get into a, a bit of a hash a win here would mean that uh, we would just need a draw against Leipzig in the last game and that is quite a it's a it's a, a daunting prospect but at the same time it's certainly a situation you would accept let's just say that and uh, I say no highlights really yet 10 minutes gone can we get something here? Neumann does well to win the ball. A chance, perhaps. Oh, what a hit from Friedel. Oh, my word. What a time for that. We have scored some incredible goals recently. <laughs> the players are really stepping up to the plate. And it's a bit of a theme, isn't it? That we score spectacular goals at home, definitely. On the volley, Friedel, the left back. Marco Friedel, what a finish. And that, again, we, we have, we've had a habit of scoring early goals in recent matches and it settled us down nicely, hasn't it? But um, apart from that, I mean, we're not getting any of the ball. 62% of possession for Borussia Mönchengladbach. Sometimes you get matches like this where the opposition do dominate possession and I just don't get the chances. In other situations, I find it that yeah, the opposition dominate possession but we get them on the counter attack and stuff like that that doesn't seem to be happening today so it's a bit of a concern going forward if that still happens I will have to change the passing um, technical directive to short rather than now Vieira is in oh I think that's a great save I thought he scored I thought that was heading to the top left corner but great save from their goalkeeper Sousa with the corner towards Bella Kotchap. That's we've got that corner routine set up so it's an in-swinging corner to the near post to the uh, first defender which is Bella Kotchap uh, from that situation and he's scored a few goals from it recently great jumping reach and it wouldn't surprise me if he got on the end of something here today either really the possession stats have kind of calmed down a bit we've gained a bit more and uh, you know 31 minutes gone we're 1-0 up it's not bad we'll take that glad back and no mugs there I think ninth in the table. It just held Leipzig to a draw at home, nil-nil. So it's fair play to them there. They did, they did us a favour in the last game. We cannot take them lightly, even though we're one nil up now. Vieira, it's a lovely little dink cross, but Gomez couldn't get on the end of it properly. We're passing it nicely. Vieira's involved. Neumann, he had an assist for the first goal, although. How much you can take for that? That's a second goal for Sousa. Lovely football this from uh, my Hamburg side. I've got to say, lovely passing manoeuvres and uh, an absolute joy to watch when we're uh, moving the ball around like this. Neumann got into a nice position there and then Vieira with a deft sort of pass and Sousa at the minute is red hot. He's not missing uh, chances. Certainly at home he's not at all and we've got that cushion 2-0 Gladbach have yet to have a shot um, let alone one on target so we're dominating the game in that respect and I've got to have to make a decision at half time here whether we take off Bella Kocha and Friedel already we've got two yellow cards we're a side known for picking up yellow cards and do I want my two big names towards now let's have a look at these score lines and Dortmund are losing 1-0 at Wolfsburg Leipzig are 1-0 against Stuttgart they were 1-0 down and came back this is a tough decision I've got to make because if if Friedel or Bella Kotchap get a booking in the second half they're banned from that massive clash at Leipzig and you know what I'm going to have to take them off I'm just am. It's as simple as that. I just cannot risk it. So we need a centre, but the problem is we haven't got another centre back on the bench. <laughs> we can take Friedel off though. We can put Bubenicek in there at left back. 
I'm just trying to find a way to get another centre back in. Neumann can probably play centre back for a bit and Unsworth can come on. This is a risk. It's definitely a risk if it doesn't go well. Um, and we've got to do the team talk as well, and it, it's going to be exactly the same as it has in recent weeks. Keep that performance level up, and they're all gaining focus, which is good. We're starting the second half with that little bit makeshift at the back, but they haven't had a shot, let alone one on target, Borussia Mönchengladbach. So I think it was a gamble, an estimated sort of... We, we've assessed the risk, and we think it's not as high as it could be. Let's just say that. If we don't have Bella Kotchap and Friedel in that Leipzig game, I don't. I'm. I would certainly not fancy our chances as much. Let's just say that. I think it was a sensible decision at this point in time. If we don't win this now, then it may well prove to be a shocking decision. But you live and die by these decisions sometimes, don't you? We've had a couple of deflected shots there, looking for another Unsworth. Unsworth into into the box. Now can someone have a shot? The Benicek. And about three or four block shots in that highlight run. We're going to have a keep our eye on these other games. As things stand, we would be champions. And the header comes in. We would expect Leipzig to win that game against Stuttgart, though. But as things stand with the champions, that's quite, a, in a way, a scary thought, but what hell of a pleasing thought as well. But what I very much am interested in is keeping that goal difference. Even if Leipzig win, hopefully they only win by one goal and we would go to next week. You know, and we could lose by one by one goal margin and still win the title. So it's all gonna come on to that last game, I think still. I feel like it's destined to. Really not a lot happening in this second half. Balic has got a yellow card, so we might as well Sorry, Balic is one away from a suspension. We might as well take him off, to be brutally honest. I want a bit of solidity in midfield, so we'll put Jotsu in here instead of Vardan this time. Uh, confirm those changes. Let's have a look at these scores. And Leipzig are now ahead. They've just scored on a penalty. Dortmund are winning as well. I don't think we're going to be winning the title today, folks. Let's just say that. Let's just hope that Leipzig and Dortmund don't add to their lead and we can keep another goal here from us would be nice as well but we haven't had enough of the ball in this our 57% possession I think that would probably mean that uh, Gladbach have, have had for what, nearly 60% possession in this period we struggled to create against them so if, well there's an opportunity there it's a corner we have struggled to create against them but the statistics we're, we're dominant in terms of opportunities so I think they've literally come here not saying they've parked the bus, but they've just been very negative and tried to control the game. Had we not scored early, it might have been a different challenge to try and break them down and get enough of the ball. Um, surely they're going to have a shot. They've gone 83 minutes without a single shot. This is ridiculous. Oh, they've had one now. Finally had a shot. Um, well, we don't want to. What we don't want to do is concede a goal late. Now, go on, break. I'd love a third goal just to put. A bit of icing on the cake. We're going to get a chance as well. It's Vieira. And he scored it beautifully. 3-0. Now, what are the other other um, score lines? We're going to have a look in a minute after this replay. This is a nice break, wasn't it? And it just felt right as we were building. A lovely pass from Susan Vieira. Great first. And a great second touch. Builds him up nicely. The other score lines. Leipzig are 2-1 up. Dortmund are also 2-1 up. Don't think it's going to happen today. We're not going to win the title here. We're going to have to go to Leipzig next week and get a result. It's a question of how much of a result we need. By my reckoning, we will... It all depends if they scored late goals or not. Or if we score a late goal here as to how much. Part of me almost thinks I should have been going for goal difference here. But you don't want to concede. Go on. This fourth goal could be crucial if we could get it here. And Gomez, oh, that it could be costly. <laughs> as mad as it sounds, it could be costly for us. Three nil would do not very nicely, but four four nil would have given us a, a, more of a goal difference cushion going into next week. Anyway, we've had a good win. Whatever, Gomez loses the ball there. Can he win it all back? No, 
I think this is just going to be the final whistle now. He gives away a free kick. Good thing is, none of the guys on yellow cards um, are going to get suspended for next week, I don't think. Off the top of my head, I took them all off, so that's good. We should be at full strength next week. We're going to have a decision to make. Our oh, Gimba was another one on yellow, wasn't he? Did he get a yellow card or not? Can't remember exactly. Um, but he uh, no, he didn't get a yellow card. So we are going to have, hopefully, unless injuries crop up, we're going to have a... Um, yeah, I think we'll go with a passionate well done. We're going to have a look at these rest of these results now. But we, yeah, we're going to have a full strength squad to choose from next week. And Leipzig won two goals to one. And Dortmund won three goals to one. So... It's a shame they grabbed the late goal. Let's have a look at this Leipzig game. How close were they to... Oh, they dominated. Look at that. 29 shots to two. I mean, it should have been more, shouldn't it? We kind of dodged one there. But that is the league table. We are three points clear going into the final game. I wish my last match was against someone like St. Pauli or Bochum or Köln or Freiburg or someone crap. But it's not. We have to go to Leipzig. And... We have a four goal cushion on them. So if we lost by two goals to Leipzig and Dortmund only won by one goal, we would be champions on goal scored, I do believe. It's going to get very complicated. And uh, I'll explain it in the next video before the last game. We've got a, here we are, goal difference, goal scored, and then results between teams. So results between teams we would be behind on both I think but we have at least uh, the very worst I think Schalke result they lost the very worst we're going to finish third it's all going to be on that last game of the season so join me for the title decider away at Leipzig uh, in the, uh, the very next episode um, that's it for this edition uh, thanks for watching hit that like button uh, hit that subscribe button and uh, follow me on Twitter, Twitch, things like that. But very much appreciate you watching this one. We'll see you again very soon. Goodbye.